Hey, good morning, Facebook world. Hey, um, it's 8 a.m. I said I was gonna do a live at 8 a.m. and here I am doing a live at 8 a.m. for you guys. So, um, good morning, happy Monday. I am here at a beautiful mall in Palos Verdes this morning. We're actually um, doing our second step to bowl today. It's really fun. It's downstairs from a movie theater this time. So, um, super cool venue. But um, today I wanted to talk about um, how to stay motivated and the five things that I kind of do to stay motivated. Um, these, you know, there's so many different ways to stay motivated, obviously. Um, so these are just some things that really, really work for me and uh, things that I find that really push me forward every day and kind of set the mood also, um, you know, for, for my day, for my week. Um, and so forth and so forth. So when we talk about motivation, um, you know, motivation is nothing but your like willingness to do anything, right? So if you don't stay motivated, what ends up happening a lot of times is that you kind of just get stuck in this like um, spiral of procrastination or at least, you know, I think that that kind of can happen to everyone. So, um, <clears throat> Number one for me is to always schedule time for the motivation. So I always talk about time blocking. I know that I'm totally captain redundant uh, at my market center about time block, time block, time block. But if it's not on my calendar, it doesn't really get done. So um, just like any other time blocking, I think motivation needs to get time blocked. And so um, for that reason, you know, um, it's kind of like your workouts. If it's not on your calendar, you're gonna wake up every day thinking, you know, I feel like, I hope I get motivated today to go work out. Or if your business doesn't have a system for marketing that's, you know, a, a set, something you've thought about beforehand, you know, you're gonna sit there and hope that people hear about you, right? So, um, I just, that's kind of the, one of the things that, that, that I do for first. And so for me, that's really waking up early and, um, listening to or uh you know listening to books audiobooks um podcasts whatever it is i in the morning that's for that's the important thing for me and um one of the interesting things that i heard is that your your thoughts actually are the most powerful in the morning and at night right before you go to sleep so some of the thoughts that we wake up well like when we say i woke up on a wrong foot today or whatever it is um i think it, it comes from actual science where they have studies have shown that whatever thoughts you have in the morning are actually sticking in your head stronger than any other thoughts that you have during the day so it's very interesting to me that that all of that comes from from science so one of the things that i love is this book right here miracle morning if you haven't read it please do so um somebody gave me oh shout out to adnan who gave me this book um years ago and I go back to this book and read about it basically you're getting everything done before 8 a.m. in terms of your motivation and you're setting the day the tone for your day so that is an amazing thing yet you do have to put it in your calendar as well okay your rituals that you start working on they become your habits and our habits determine the kind of lives that we have right so that's number one okay schedule time for the motivation the second thing is that um you've got to have a plan you got to have someday goals okay so um a lot of people kind of go through life especially in the world of real estate i think uh you know looking for their next deal and that doesn't really get you anywhere that's a short-term goal that's something that you're going to get to um you know within a matter of time and now you're just kind of going baby steps and very slowly versus really being purposeful about where you're actually trying to get to and i'll tell you a secret you will get there a lot faster if you have someday goals in mind so your someday goals are something that's so big like if everything in the world came true for you and anything you wanted um, became your reality that's what your someday goal should be and then we take those someday goals and we chunk them down to to, to you know 10 years or five year goals or three year goals or whatever that looks like for you or even the next 24 hour goals right and you want to do the someday goal so that you can break them down and they it, it makes those goals to be a suitable level of difficulty right so now you're actually understanding what you would need to do to get there and 
what's interesting to me about that is that I personally always want to feel the flow. And what I, when I say the flow, that's like when you get so focused on whatever tasks you're doing that like everything else kind of disappears. And that's when I find that I'm the most productive, I'm the most motivated and inspired, and I just kind of keep pushing forward, like I said before. So I don't know if you guys have heard about the Goldilocks rule. The Goldilocks rule is, hey Judy, um, the Goldilocks rule is basically like saying that your goals need to be at right level of difficulty. If it's too easy, you get bored. So imagine yourself, for instance, playing tennis with a kid, right? You might get bored. Or if you're playing tennis against a pro, it's too difficult and you're just gonna not, you're, you're gonna feel completely demotivated, right? So this is a Goldilocks rule. We find that people are the most productive when their goals are a good level of difficulty, not too easy and not super, super hard. So for, you know, this is like kind of your peak performance and, um, <clears throat> reaching that flow is going to is going to really get you to be more productive. And one of the key things about reaching the flow and really, you know, having the someday goal is that you have to measure it. Measurement is a key factor in staying motivated, okay? So basically <clears throat> you got to be able to get feedback for what what's been happening you got to review yourself you got to or maybe you get the, the feedback from somewhere else but making progress towards you know whatever challenge um two most critical things of uh, peak motivation right measuring it and um uh receiving feedback okay so those are my two first things okay the third one for me this is my favorite thing probably is hang out with motivated successful people right we are the sum of the people that we hang out with so who are you talking to daily what kind of things are they talking to you about right are you brainstorming and sharing ideas with people that you um that you consider successful, right? I mean, everyone's idea is totally different. I'm not saying there's one way or the other, um, but your coworkers, your um, your classes that you go to, bold, right? You choose any seminars you go to. This is all a choice, and I think a lot of people don't give it a lot of thought. They don't think about who do they choose to hang out with. And that's really important, right? Because that, those are the thoughts that get embedded in your head every single day. So for me, I like to hang out with people who are thinking progressively, um, who I strive to be like, who I want to behave like, who I recognize like successful traits and habits. And so that is my third one is to hang out with happy, motivated, successful, cool people, right? All right. The fourth thing for me personally is to schedule actual thinking time on my calendar. It's really easy to go through the week or maybe you do your planning on Sunday and you think, okay, I have to do A, B, C, D, E, F, G today or this week um, or this month or whatever it is. And you end up doing those things and that's what we would call working in your business, right? You're, you're working inside your whatever field you're in and you're going about and you're getting a lot of things done, yet how are you going to know when decisions come your way, you have to make some decisions about this or that or marketing plan or whatever it is that you're doing, how do you know what to do, what the right decision is? You can't make decisions if you don't have good thinking time, okay? And I think a lot of people don't put thinking time on their calendar just because it seems kind of weird, right? Like, what am I going to sit here and think about? Um, Gary Keller talks about thinking like a CEO a lot. And I love that because, you know, he basically says like, life is a series of decision making moments. If you learn to make great decisions, you will have a wonderful life. And I love that. I think that that's so, so, so important. And you can't make good decisions without putting some serious thought into them, right? And again, you choose, you, you choose what decisions you make. Do you want to make decisions on a, on a whim? Do you want to just, you know, be spontaneous all the time? I don't know that that's necessarily the best business plan, right? So, um, to stay motivated, I schedule thinking time on my calendar. So that's my fourth thing. Okay. 
The fifth and final thing, which I think a lot of us can relate to, um, especially a lot of people in my world, in the coaching world, is to hire a coach. So I have a coach. I have several coaches, actually. You don't have to have one coach only. You can have a business coach, a health coach, maybe you have a money coach. Um, whatever it is that you have, those people, they help you bring accountability into your life, right? And so, um, and everybody needs accountability. Everybody does, um, you know, and you tell someone what you intend to do and then they hold you to it, which is really important. So to stay motivated, you know, my coach, I, I tell her, you know, here's my priority. I want you to hold me accountable to this and this and this right now, this month, this year. This is my main thing, which I've figured out from doing my thinking time. And when she says to me, hey, let's go back to these goals that you had, um, what are we doing with these this week? It brings me back, it gets me really motivated um, to really know that I'm working on my goals and the smaller activities that I'm doing on a daily basis are not as uh, pertinent, or maybe they are, but yet I have that end goal in mind. So hiring a coach, because you need somebody to help you see what you don't see, right? You need someone to help you see what you don't see. Sometimes we're too close to whatever the problem is, why you're not staying, staying motivated, why you're feeling like you know you, you just procrastinate and are not getting things done, um, or or sometimes you're just not really seeing your own performance, right? And and like I said, measurement is one of the key things to uh, key components to staying motivated you've got to know what you're doing and that'll make you feel better and know what like you know what results you're getting and um, I think that that's really important right so I some most of you on my Facebook feed have um, done the uh, sorry the Sun is coming there over here most of you have done the uh, wood chopping exercise in uh, in uh, masterminds right or I'm uh, sorry in coaching skills camp and if you know what I'm talking about awesome if you don't what it is is it's basically you know we take a piece of wood and we chop it with our hand like this and everybody can do it it's really amazing but our mind gets in the way a lot of times and then people get stuck and they they, they really need the coaches there to help them push through and the reason I bring this up is because some years ago I I had this challenge and I wasn't getting through the wood I was so tired already. We were at the end of our day. I, it had been a long week, you know, when you try to go on vacation or on a trip and, uh, and you just, you're getting everything done at home so that you can go away for a few days. I mean, I was exhausted. These are the stories that I was telling myself. And I thought to myself, I'm not gonna be able to break this piece of wood. And I felt like I was hitting that piece of wood so hard. Like I felt like I was giving it like 150% of all my energy and I was still not breaking it and what ended up happening was Diana Kokoska my huge huge mentor of mine um, she came up to me and she said you're giving it 80% give it give me 100% right now so she's screaming at me like 100% 100% Sonia come on give me 100% give me everything you got and like that I broke the wood well, what's funny about the story is my coach Tammy was actually there and caught the whole thing on video if you want to see it I'll post it but it's pretty crazy because any like idiot can see that I was not giving it 100% and yet I felt like I was giving it like 150 you need someone to help you see what you're not seeing if she hadn't been telling me that I wouldn't have wrapped my head around hey I'm not giving it like you know 100% so my fifth and final thing is to hire a coach because you need someone to see what you're not seeing, right? All right, so recap real quick, right? Number one, schedule your motivation, right? That's put it in your calendar, have a plan, have a time in the morning when you're always looking at motivational stuff or whenever it works for you, figure out what you gotta do, right? Second one, have an actual plan, the someday goals that you can then break down to goals and measure what you're doing. They have to be a right level of difficulty. Okay, number three, hang out with other 
uh, some successful motivated people number four schedule your thinking time put it on your calendar you need time to work on your business not just working in your business and going around the day doing things hey Ellie um, and number five hire a coach you gotta have someone who will help you see what you're not seeing and hold you accountable I know for me the month that I hired my coach is the month that I started making some serious money right and it's not about the money it's about the growth that happens and that's 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 the goal right your personal growth because your business grows to the extent that you do it's not gonna grow if you're not growing right and on that note that is a bold law I am gonna go into my bold class that we're starting today or step two starting today very very excited do I have business coach suggestion hmm as in a name yes I've got names for you um, Ellie I'll connect with you that's awesome I love that and you know it's funny because in coaching we really even if it's a business coach what you end up finding is that it's actually just a personal coach because your habits are what what makes you you right so a lot of times people say to me, for instance, what am I doing wrong, Sonia? What's going on? Like, I've been doing this and this and this and this, right? And I just, it, it, my question to them is, how are you showing up to doing this activity? How, what is your mindset? What's, what's mindset? What specifically are you doing today to move that goal forward? And and who do you need to be in order for you to reach your goals? And a lot of times people go back to be like, oh, that's not business coaching, but, but it is, right? Because the results are gonna be determined by your habits. Our habits make us, not the specific little things that we do here and there. What are you doing consistently this week to move your business forward? what is getting in your way oh well i have you know my dogs are barking and my kids are in the way and i can't focus or whatever it is okay then next week if this is still your goal how can we ensure that those things don't get in your way again what can you do differently to enable yourself and empower yourself for success so it's very interesting i love the coaching world because uh, it's kind of a big eye-opener you know it, it's more about if you just want advice like hey how do I do this task or what 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 things work in terms of advertising or lead generation awesome your coaches can give you advice for that too and that's also business coaching yet a lot of it goes back to the person not the activities so um, very interesting someone you want to recommend someone who would benefit from that definitely I think everyone benefits from any coaching so I've got coaches for business coaching any in any world not just real estate business coaching um, money coaching financial money and finance so kind of two different things sort of um, financial planning coaching um, physical health coaching fitness and also diet coaching um, it's very very uh, interesting how these people have shown into my life shown up in my life uh, without kind of me like not even really planning it but I'm always looking for ways to grow and I love that so um, if you need any help get, uh, send me a message get at me somehow and I really appreciate you guys being here everybody who uh, popped in today I will be posting these videos every day um, I will also be circulating the post later so if you don't have the 10 minutes to stick around that these videos are roughly gonna be um, that's okay I'll be posting them later as well so thank you so much go out there get them this week make sure you have your goal in mind for the for the week what is your one goal this week maybe it's a project you didn't get to yet get motivated get your motivation from somewhere um, and it could be music it could be quotes it could be anything go get it have a great week and I will see you tomorrow bye Mwah.